Hi, here we have an Acer Extensor laptop. Uh, I'm done with the installing of the Windows 10 and I have a few issues that I'm gonna talk about. I'm placing, after I'm placing in the box, I decided to record this video. So this is gonna be actually first the unboxing. On this side is the power adapter. And uh, here is this laptop and the, and the manuals. So, let me remove this. Very pleased with the laptop. It's good quality for a very low low price compared with the other with the other brands laptop with the uh, with the same performance. So I like the cooling. This laptop was very silent. So these are these are the rubber bands, so when you open the lid, they lift the laptop a little bit, so provide better cooling. That's that's very good. I like this. Also, some of the heat goes on the top of the laptop. So this is, comes with the i5 processor and Intel RS graphic card. So. Uh, press the power button. <clears throat> it's very fast. Uh, the first issue that I have when installing the laptop was uh, that uh, didn't uh, recognize the hard drive. So I had to install the Intel and uh, load the driver. So I had to load the driver from the USB drive. And the other other thing was uh, that after installing all the after installing all the drivers, uh, there was Thunderbolt control center driver that was missing. So I'm gonna uh, post links from the boat drivers uh, under the video so you can download it. So I'm gonna restart. This is a bootable device with drivers installed on it, with the drivers copied on it. So I'm gonna reboot the driver trying to install, so I'm gonna explain how to uh, how the driver is loaded. So after the boot up, he will have come to this screen where uh, the driver is the hard drive. Actually, this is the drive, it's not shown. And you have to load the driver from the USB drive. So I have copied the dri USB drive from the drive on the USB drive, and this is it on this. Is placed in new folder. Uh, it's called the ERS. Intel RST VMD controller. So after on clicking on next, it's gonna load. And here, are, here we have the partitions. So I'm gonna cancel the installation because I already have installed Windows on it. But uh, when you have uh, a new laptop, you will continue with creating new partitions and complete the installations. 
So <clears throat> after this, uh, after completing the Windows installation, installing all the drivers, there are going to be one driver missing. That as I as I said previously, I'm going to post a link. Uh, below the videos from where you can download the site the, the, you can download the driver from my site thanks for watching